Somalis. The envy of all with their towering height, unshakable pride, devout religious convictions, and a genetic lottery win in the looks department that leaves the rest of us feeling like mere evolutionary prototypes. Did you know they used to trade with ancient pharaoh kingdoms? Let's talk about their origins. Generally, Cushitic people are believed to have originated in the northeastern regions of Africa, possibly around the Nile Valley, just south of Egypt. The ancient land of Punt, a legendary trading partner of ancient Egypt, is well documented. A group of indigenous pre-Nilotic people may have interacted with ancient North African, Egyptian, and Semitic migrating populations, which gave rise to a proto cushitic group. This group migrated southwards into the Horn, splintering into multiple Cushitic groups, such as the Oromo, Afar, Beja, Sidamo, and Somalis. Decades of further migration brought them into present-day Greater Somalia. Welcome once again to Afroatista Films, and please hit that like button for this video to be recommended to as many people as possible. Now let's continue learning about these truly fascinating people. On to number two, basic demographics. The Somali people hailing from the Horn of Africa are a Cushitic speaking group of around 23 million individuals. They live in Somalia, Kenya, Ethiopia, and Djibouti. Somalis are considered one of the most ethnically homogenous nations in the world. Over 99% are Sunni Muslims and are known as one of the most devoted Muslim communities in the world. Number 3. Diverse Genetics Genetic studies have revealed a diverse ancestry, including East African, Arabian, and even South Asian influences. According to genetic studies, Somalis are approximately 70% East African indigenous Cushitic and 30% West Eurasian. In this Eurasian component, 15% is Middle Eastern Semitic and 15% is North African. According to Cruciani et al., 2007, the presence of these sub groups in the Horn region may represent the traces of an ancient migration from southern Egypt. Number 4. Beautiful Phenotype this genetic diversity is mirrored in the Somali people's phenotype with a wide range of physical features and skin tones. Somalis are generally tall with lean physiques, thin noses, soft hair, and dark brown skin. Both men and women are incredibly good looking. Somali women, in my opinion, are some of the world's most beautiful women. Their hourglass curvy figures, smooth melanin rich skin, beautiful radiant smiles, and lovely faces are nothing but extraordinarily stunning. Approaching a Somali lady is like tiptoeing through a minefield in a clown suit. You better watch your step or their men will come for you. And as for marrying outside their community, well, you might as well be trying to sell ice to Eskimos. It's just not in their playbook. So unless you're ready to navigate the treacherous waters of Somali romance, you might want to stick to safer hobbies. Somalis, am I right? Number five, debate about their blackness. Now there has been a raging debate about the blackness of Somalis. Though some people argue that they are not black, that it erases their subjective identity as Somalis, and that the notion of blackness is a Western social construct designed to oppress black people. The question of their racial identity is straightforward when considering their geographic and historical context. 
Somalia, located in the Horn of Africa, is part of the African continent and its people share many physical and genetic characteristics with other African populations. Skin color, while a superficial marker of race, is just one aspect of a person's identity. Somalis, like many other African ethnic groups, have a range of skin tones from dark to light due to genetic diversity within their population. However, regardless of the shade of their skin, Somalis are unequivocally part of the broader black African racial group. <laughs> Number 6. Interesting Personality Here are some universal Somali behavioral traits. Picture this. A bunch of folks so proud they probably high-five their mirrors every morning. They are incredibly proud of their Somali status, culture, looks, and history. Somalis are known for their remarkable resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. They've turned Mogadishu from a war zone a few years ago to the thriving city it is becoming today. But wait, there's more. Somalis have business acumen that could rival even the sharpest Wall Street minds. If you're in the market for a nickname, they've got you covered. They are also very hospitable to guests and will make you feel at home. They are great poets and storytellers. They help each other. They may squabble amongst themselves, but they will always unite to protect each other. They are fiercely loyal to their clans, even the diaspora Somalis. Their religious zeal is unmatched. They are hilarious as hell. If you've got a thick skin, their humor will have you rolling on the floor. They are literally everywhere. They are super brave, generally very awesome people. Number 7. Beautiful Harsh Sounding Language The Somali language, known as Afsumali, is a key component of the Somali identity. It belongs to the Cushitic branch of the Afro-Asiatic language family. While Somali is the official language of Somalia, the Somali people's linguistic influence extends beyond national borders, with many Somalis in neighboring countries also speaking the language. Somali is spoken at breakneck speed, like a language on a caffeine overdose. Here is a sample of this beautiful language. <laughs> Number 8. Great Business Acumen Historically, Somalis were nomadic herders, moving with their livestock in search of water and pasture. Somali merchants and explorers played significant roles in ancient trade networks, including the Silk Road and Indian Ocean trade routes. Today, millions of Somalis still carry on livestock keeping, exporting millions of goats and cattle to the Middle East. Mogadishu, the city that just can't resist a dramatic comeback story, is now like the phoenix of commercial hubs rising from the ashes of decades of war. Their business prowess is so legendary that even Somali pirates can't resist a little side hustle. And speaking of hustle, they've contributed a cool $1.5 billion to Kenya's economy, proving that Somalis in Eastleigh are not just good at herding goats, but also at herding money. Along the sea coast, they engage mainly in fishing, and if you wander down south in Somalia, you will even encounter farmers. Number 9. Rich Culture 
Somali culture is renowned for its poetry, with an ancient oral tradition of storytelling that reflects the beauty of the Somali language. Hospitality is a cornerstone of their social fabric, where guests are treated with the utmost respect and generosity. Sharing meals and engaging in conversation are essential parts of Somali culture. Traditional dances, like the energetic Dianto and graceful Buranbur, add rhythm and movement to their celebrations. Men often wear a garment called a Ma Hawis, while women wear Guntino or Dira. In this culture, family bonds are paramount and clan structures hold great significance, forging a sense of identity and solidarity among Somalis. Despite its significance, the clan system has at times been a source of tension and conflict. However, it also embodies the strong sense of community that binds the Somali people together. Number 10. Delicious Cuisine Somali food is savory and absolutely delicious. The following are some of the prominent Somali dishes. Hilib Ari, grilled goat or lamb marinated with a blend of spices, served with injera. Sambusa, triangular pastries filled with spiced meats, vegetables or lentils. Baris Iskukaris, a fragrant rice dish cooked with spices and garnished with raisins, fried onions and meat. Anjero, a sourdough flatbread similar to Ethiopian injera often served with a variety of toppings. Sugosukar, a hearty beef stew made with diced meat, tomatoes, and aromatic spices. Somali tea, spiced with cloves and cinnamon and sweetened with sugar, is a common way to end a meal and engage in conversation. Cilantro, coriander, cumin, and cardamom add depth and fragrance to Somali dishes. Somali cuisine continues to gain recognition globally, with Somali restaurants and dishes finding their way into international culinary scenes. Did you know Somalis eat most of their meals with a banana? Now you know. Thank you for keeping it Afro Artista Films. I hope I've managed to sprinkle a little justice on this topic. If I did, kindly smash the like button and let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. See you around.